for personal readings, the current wait time is at the least 10 days. It's in the description box below. I only answer one question reading. If you are waiting for your personal reading, I do appreciate your patience. I am working on it. Back to back to back. Ooh, someone's coming in fast with conflict. Someone made up their mind. I'd like to think that it's you, but I feel like it's you who's avoiding the situation. Yes. Um, I'm seeing here like you got tired of repetitive, something of a cycle in a relationship where you just feel like this is a lost cause. You're all about living your best life. Okay, well, I don't know my face is like that with living the best life. Okay. So I was living the best life. Yes. <laughs> Nine of ones in the five ones in the hermit. It does look like there's a feeling of dissatisfaction that you have with them. And you're right now is just like, mm, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna be sad. I'm not gonna be upset. That is too uh too much, you know, for you to not to handle, but it's like that's not my tea right now. I mean, like, so, uh, can we get a good reading where we where we're not with them? I think you're not with them. You're definitely not with them because you have the hermit. The hermit seeks isolation, healing also with the hermit. This is about your health. This is a Virgo. Um, this is about your work. Um, I'm seeing here where your situation, okay, hermit, five of ones with the knight of ones. Your situation is about like releasing and letting go. We love that. It can be a Sag also or a Virgo that you're doing. Sag is about travel. So you may be going out there, but you're just, um, how do you call this? Like you're going out and about every time. And you're about life experiences. This is also learning something, you know, uh, can be like a, uh, a skill that you're learning because ninth house, uh, natural ninth house, Sag. So higher learning. Now, this is about a conflict with regards to a decision about relationship. Five of Wands is the part where um your person feels oh okay just this here um but they need to make a decision but it didn't came to a final decision it became a final destination <laughs> okay here we go Ugh. scorpios a reconciliation again what's going on in your chart venus is gonna go retrograde on the 23rd of july so it's too early for that <laughs> on your 10th house in leo Six of Cups with the Temperance. Okay. Now, Six of Cups and the Temperance, um, it does feel like there is this soul recognition. Okay. Um, Six of Cups and the Temperance, it does look like you're... Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Like, why do you always go back? That's my question. Are you like a Lotto Lotto? I think it's called... <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a toy that I've been seeing around. Um, it's like you're a yo-yo, can be a boomerang, like relationships for you are like always coming around full circle. It's like, here it is again, here it is again, Sal, I've forgiven them. So after a time where you're saying, it's like, no, and then here we go again, can be a Leo or a Sag, okay? So from what I'm seeing here with the temperance, you're more about, mm -hmm, let me see. Mm, new beginnings, yes, creativity, two of pentacles, you busy boo. You got a lot of project coming in your life. You're going to be very booked with the Two of Pentacles, doing this, doing that. Money and finances. It's like you're juggling. The Ace of Wands, like something creative that you started. So we love that. Then relationship is on the side. So this is coming in to you. Um, but it's it's really, uh, it's connected to someone that you're already involved with that you guys had uh, probably like, oh, like you guys didn't understand each other. So you distance yourself. Mm-mm. Scorpio, two of cups. Who is this? Who is this person that you are cutting dry? Queen of Swords. You know, you're telling your person, it's like, you, you need to be straight up forward with me with the communication. Like, I can't. Queen of Swords has been hurt. So this person has hurt you. You still love them, for sure. You feel like there is this whole soulmate connection with the, with the six of cups and the past life connection with the two of cups. Um, two of Pentacles um, and two another two over here, of course, a crossroad, a cycle that the two of you have right now. Now, you made a decision, they did it, because the Ace of Wands is you, the Five of Wands is the conflict, and the Five of Wands, like I mentioned, it's a decision about love. Mm hmm Okay. We're going there. Okay. Let's see here. 
Having determination and focus to manifest your dreams is very important. If you already have that, that's wonderful. The next step is using crystals. I got this wonderful store because I manifested through my multiple fortune beaded bracelet. Check it out, it's in the description box below and I'm just happy to share it with you guys. You got a five cups, all right. It does look like you're upset that here we are again, forgiving each other, making the relationship happen, and you're saying here with the five of cups, oof, with a death card, things has to change. You're gonna talk to them about something that you have been hoping for. So the eight of wands here with the star card, this is your des destiny for something that, is your, that you're gonna be successful of. Um, as a Scorpio myself, of course, I channel all the energies with the chart. And Mars in the 10th house right now, career focus driven. Venus is going to go retrograde there. It will aspect 10th from 10th house is the 7th house. So business partnership is going to be there. But at the same time, relationship. If you are in the public eye, very, very good time for you. Because everybody's just looking at you, glowing, thriving, like unstoppable with the 10th house. Career, society, that's where the 10th house is. The work that you're doing, it's showing good result. Eight of Wands with a star card, I feel like this is what you are about to explain to your person. You'll see, you'll glow mm -hmm. in the next, uh, oh, it's gonna be a long time that you're gonna be glowing because Venus is there. But Venus and Mars are enemies. So, relationship wise, your Lagna Lord, which is Mars, may have issues right now with a partner. Yes? Very much, Sal. How are you? How do you know that, Sal? Are you a psychic? Nine of Swords. I'm not a psychic. Okay. <laughs> I'm barely anything. Okay. I'm a pigment of your imagination. But with the Nine of Swords and the Star card, your person is an obstacle to what you have been working on. You know? Like, can I share? Can I share? It is my channel, so I don't need to ask permission. One second. Let me show you something. Okay. So, Scorpio, I've been working on this. Okay, look at this one. Ah, I cannot focus. There we go. You know that this one is going to be, this is the um, citrine and then tiger's eye with the evil eye protection, love. And then this one is what made, um, how the crystals that helped me for my success. So if you're driven for your star, uh, you know, to be a star, um, like to have something about for yourself, your career, your growth. This is the crystal that I use. Okay, you got malachite, you know, green adventuring, of course, garnet. Garnet is material wealth. And then this one is coming today. Oh, I just love this. Okay, and if you're just gonna hate that I'm sharing, oh, boo, darling, my channel, my rules. Okay, you can open your own channel. That I would suggest. So you can do whatever you want. Yeah? So don't try to tell me what I can and can't. I'm sorry, it's it just doesn't work. I mean, like, seriously? <laughs> so let's see your person here. Okay, so um, it's in the description box below. We ship international. So if ever that you, okay, you are interested. Okay, I opened my store, like, with nothing. It was pandemic when I did that. And then I put together, because I have citrine, I have garnet, so I put it all together, okay? Here we go. Let's see. Okay, so nothing like a Scorpio reading without a little bit of dishonesty. Seven of Swords, okay. Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Person has been thinking about you, stalking you. Very sneaky individual. Um, they don't want to reveal right now their true intentions because there's a Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles, with a Four of Wands. Uh, very, very much. Very, very... Um, how do go? They plan, they strategize. It's a very slow moving energy because you can see here. You see that energy right there? Seven of Swords is someone who, this, this is Aqua, okay? And then they're looking at the relationship. It's like this is someone who's thinking about like what is the advantage of being with you, okay? Four of Wands is about security. Three of Pentacles is building the partnership over here. So there is something good here. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, so this is more of a person who may, okay, because the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant right here, you could be married to this person, right? The Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant, this is showing, um, I'm not sure if they have been honest in this partnership at all. I don't think so, because if you are in a relationship, I feel like they haven't been, oh, okay, 
You have a judgment, the eight of wands in the sun. Why do I? Oh, wow. Okay. They have a misjudgment. That I can tell you. Now they want to talk. But you're in a different cycle. You got stressed with this person because they always do the same thing. And then you have a judgment with a sun card. Okay. Judgment with a sun card. And then you have a ten of cups. Look at that. And then you have a ten of pentacles. I mean, like for this person, like this relationship is the end all be all. But I'm not sure why they want they don't want to be honest with you with the seven of swords or what they're hiding from you. The judgment is like they feel pressured. Now the sun right now. It gets a little tricky because it's still in Gemini, so dear astrology. So it's in the eighth house. So there will be revelation. Um, there will be secrets that comes out from your person because eighth house is uh, the house of secrets. Okay, uh, I wonder what that would be. Mercury is there also. So something about communication between you and your person will come out pretty soon. Okay, I do say dear, so stop correcting me. Okay, here we go. Scorpio, what is this? <laughs> it ain't my reading, Sal. There's no tower. Okay, so that's what they're break. Either it's a breakup, a breakthrough. Okay, coming from your person here. Oh, it's a buildup. We don't know yet because it's a tower and the lovers. This can go either or, but we'll see. Okay. Because you, did you get the lovers? No, you got a two of cups and the six of cups. Oh, oh, you need, oh, you need to, ah, uh, mm-hmm, yeah, oh, mm-hmm, you need to know this for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see. Okay, yes, yes. <gasps> hey. If you want to know more about this reading and you're connecting with it, I will reveal everything in extended and answer all your questions in extended reading in the description box below.